Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another F up. This time, Opie goes on what he thinks should have been a date. This story is from Reddit user Slim Valley. Today I F'd up by going on a date with a girl from Tinder who seemed way too good to be true and not seeing the red flags. I'm a 23 year old male. I was talking to this girl, 23 year old female, for a week on Tinder and Instagram. She was gorgeous, and she seemed very fun and outgoing, but she did have a investment girl boss vibe to her. That's okay, but I should have seen it coming. I asked her for a coffee date, and she said yes. We meet up, and she looks good, but not exactly like her photos. No problem there. Let's see if we connect, I thought. I mean, who looks like their profile picture nowadays, right? The first 10 minutes goes great. Conversation is flowing, and I ask her if she wants some coffee. After all, we're at a coffee shop on a coffee date. She says no, because she had some earlier. First red flag. I mean, who goes on a coffee date but drinks some just before the actual date? Yeah, that is pretty weird. From here on out, we'll refer to this girl as A. A tells me to go and get one for myself if I want. Alright, no problem. I go and get my coffee and when I come back, there's another girl at our table. Oh boy. <laughs> she says, hey, this is my partner. We'll call this partner B. I was working with her earlier. That's when it hit me that this wasn't a date. Hey, it might still be. Maybe they're open to non-monogamous relationships. Just saying. B starts asking me questions about my job, my studies, and asks me if I would listen to their business plan so that I could make more money each month. Okay, that's definitely not a date then. So she takes out a notepad and starts explaining to me their business model and how much money I would make if I would find three other people who would find three other people themselves. There it is. I straight up tell her, so this is like a pyramid scheme, right? This ain't no date? To which A responds, oh, it is a date, but you seemed like a cool person to become our partner. And this isn't a pyramid scheme, it's a multi-level marketing or an MLM. Okay, so exactly the same thing then. I couldn't believe that this was happening to me. Oh boy, so I sat there for legit 15 more minutes and listened to them explain to me how I could make up to 5,000 a month if I were to get 100 people to join this business. I told them I had to leave to go to the vet with my dog. They didn't seem happy that I wasn't interested in their MLM. I laughed so much on the way home that I was crying. Edit. Thank you so much for the awards, upvotes, and comments. I did report Ace profile on Tinder as spam as soon as I got home. The product they were trying to sell were some vitamins, proteins, omega-3 tablets, and some very good collagen. This actually reminds me of the time I was pulled into a, into a pyramid scheme myself. Oh man, I was so young then. I think I was like, I don't know, more than 10 years ago now? Learned my lesson though. OP should have uh, asked for free samples of their supplements. I mean, if they're going to be shameless about their MLM, OP should be too. Let's check what other people think though. Steve2606 says, You should report her profile so other guys don't waste time with the scammer. OP replies, Oh yeah, I did that as soon as I got home. I hope it means something though. Iana says, Yes, when reported, you get banned permanently. That's what he said, XX replies to Yana. Not necessarily. If she's an attractive woman, she brings and keeps people on the site. There was an interview with an IG model who explained exactly why and how they can stay on any platform regardless of nearly any actions they do. Her story turned into using LinkedIn to find IG employees and sleep with them to get her profile back, which is extreme, but the point is likely not a permanent ban. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, it makes sense, you know? You don't want to lose people who keep people in your platform. M Awesome Forever replies, Time to become an IG employee. Throwaway2567892 has his own perspective. He says, Turn the tables and start offering IT services for their fast-growing business at the low, low rate of $100 an hour. But wait, there's more. For each additional person, each hour of IT support will cost 50 cents less, up to a max of $50 per hour. 
Please note this only covered support and not any type of gear or design. No ordinary bees replies back to the throwaway account. To be frank, that is a low low rate. Effin Awesome Name says, Yeah, it should be $100 per R per PC. But when a new PC gets added, they get 5% of the $100. And the next person to add a PC gets 5% of the next person that adds a PC. But only if they subscribe to a $40 per month antivirus software. Das Architect replies, I'm sure this would grind their gears to a halt and they'd accept. Wow, way to turn the MLM back on them. King Invalid 96 has his own story. He says, one of my best friend's family came out to visit at his house for 4th of July. I've known his family nearly all my life. I used to hang out at his house all the time back through high school. Suddenly, his mom was trying to pitch us on a blatant MLM for beauty products, asking what she could do to get us involved. It felt so far out of left field. I quickly devised a plan to nip it in the bud. I doubled down using people's perception of crypto and NFTs. I'm a total geek for that crap but some people believe it to be a male MLM and told her if she really wanted to expand her reach and take it global that she should use NFTs to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the interest waned when it became clear pitching to my blabbering ass was more trouble than it's worth. Man, that's, that's pretty smart. Caveman108 replies, Oh my god, turning that crap right around with some crypto and NFT mumbo jumbo is hilarious. They're kind of similar though, in that people's idea of them is that they're get rich quick schemes. MDizzle29 replies, I mean, I earned a total net worth of a million dollars with crypto. Started with 10 million dollars though. <laughs> Caveman108 replies back, I'm sure your wife's boyfriend is proud. DJ Dark Knight replies back, very proud. Source, I am the wife's boyfriend. Josh924 sends... Disco Stud 1515 replies... I have to go make a call. Emergency Hyena 5134 says... Should have asked for a BJ. Filthy Muck Bastard replies... A beneficial joint venture? Of course! That's what we're all about. Inanimate Sensation replies to the original thread. He says, Kudos for sitting there for 15 minutes. I would have said, Oh, okay, I'll have a good one. And left. AXLR8 says, That would have been the right thing to do, to be honest. I would have left too, due to the deception and disrespect. Satan Vacation replies, OP was really hoping they were gonna bang if he just listened to the pitch. <laughs> Celaton City NPC replies, maybe he was pitching a tent himself. Mm -hmm -hmm. Soul Duality, who replies to the original thread as well, says, a friend of mine dated a girl who was absolutely convinced she was this close to becoming a millionaire through MLM. He eventually caught her stealing his laundry change. Montezuma's Revenge <laughs> says, I dated a girl when I was like 18 who's now one of the top people for one of those new fancy schemes. She absolutely makes a ton of money because she's near the top of the pyramid. But she's one of those handful of people who actually make money. She got lucky because she's pretty and charismatic and I get the feeling that people want to be like her so they buy in. I think some people join knowing what it is thinking they can fleece others but as long as they make money it doesn't matter. You see that's the thing right? When people join one of these pyramid schemes, they're pretty much just stepping on others. Sure, they might make some money, I just hope their conscience gets to them first. I think most people are smart enough to know when something is a pyramid scheme. They just choose to ignore and deny the reality that it is, because people just want to make quick money. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed the story and the comments as well. As usual, if you have your own story, you can send it at ivetup at gmail.com. Links to the original posts are in the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!